As we watch uh, China trade, obviously, more violence in Hong Kong. Uh, FedEx is the other big story, firing back against the Times piece over the weekend about the company's tax bill. Fred Smith challenging the paper's publisher to a debate after its tax expose about the shipping giant. The paper says between 2017 and 2018, they managed to cut their tax bill from $1.5 billion to zero as its effective tax rate dropped from 34 to less than zero. The Times says this came after FedEx and its CEO lobbied hard for the tax cuts. In a statement last night, Smith called the report distorted and factually incorrect and then challenged the publisher and the business editor of The Times to that public debate. The Times has yet to respond to Smith's challenge. Bigger part of the story, David, was how the correlation between uh, tax benefits and CapEx spending, really hard to find. I agree. So. I mean, I think, you know, again, and, and there's a quote from uh, Mr. Smith responding to that in terms of challenging A.G. Salzberger to uh, a debate. Um, and, yeah, on that, in terms of FedEx's tax bill, particularly as the, it had the impact, as it had for so many others, the, 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 the Tax Act itself, of minimizing their future liability. Not completely clear how the how the Times came to their numbers. But, Carl, I agree with you. The larger takeaway, cited in a number of different places in the story, was simply that rates are lower than had been anticipated even under the tax bill, and that the expected benefit in terms of capital investment has not really been there. Uh, we all know that we're facing trillion-dollar deficits in part as a result of that, uh, of that tax uh, bill itself, Jim. Um, and the question is, was it really worth it given we don't seem to have seen an appreciable increase in capital investment uh, over time. Well, look, I think the issue here is the 6 million shares that, uh, uh, that he bought back, which is something that people were saying over and over again, the critics of this, would, they're just going to buy back stock. They're not going to do anything. You know what's funny, David? I think that FedEx underinvested during this period. Uh, we had David Abney on from, uh, from United Parcel. He spent a fortune, and a lot of people feel that FedEx is not ready. The, the problem with FedEx was that it, it made such a big commitment to China. A and you, if, if China had not had such a uh, – had not become pariah, uh, I think that Fred Smith would have spent more. But that was his business. He was building up China and building up the hub here. I don't know whether he feels that like a bang for the buck was going to happen. If you were to open China, the guy was ready. Uh, but, gee, six million shares, I don't know we should really fault him that much. That's not that big a buyback over a two-year period. 